The United States Army's recent advancement of the Spike Nonline of Sight NLOS missile into Phase 2 of the Mobile Long Range Precision Strike Missile Program represents more than just a continuation of a testing cycle. It signals a pivotal transformation in how the Army envisions precision fires and multi domain warfare in the years ahead. With Lockheed Martin receiving a $30 million contract to continue integration, testing, and safety validation, this step underscores the Pentagon's determination to strengthen its ability to engage high-value targets far beyond the traditional line of sight. In an era defined by electronic warfare, contested skies, and dispersed operations, such capability is not merely desirable, it is essential. Spike NLOS is not a new concept in missile design. Its Israeli origins with Rafael Advanced Defense Systems have made it a battle-proven platform in various theaters, from the Middle East to Eastern Europe. However, what makes the U.S. adaptation significant is the scale of integration and the doctrinal shift it represents. The U.S. Army's long-term vision revolves around linking sensors, shooters, and command elements in a seamless digital ecosystem. Spike NLOS fits perfectly into this architecture. It is a missile that can bridge the gap between manned and unmanned systems, between ground and air assets, and between tactical flexibility and strategic reach. Technically, the Spike NLOS missile is a guided, multi-purpose precision weapon capable of striking targets at ranges up to 32 kilometers, well beyond the engagement envelope of most conventional anti-tank guided missiles. It employs an electro-optical and infrared seeker coupled with a man-in-the-loop control system, allowing the operator to visually confirm, adjust, or even abort a strike mid-flight based on real-time video feedback. This capacity for dynamic control fundamentally changes the nature of precision fires. Instead of relying solely on pre-programmed trajectories or GPS-based targeting, Spike NLOS introduces adaptive decision-making into the engagement process, reducing collateral damage and increasing mission confidence in complex environments. Phase 2 of the MLRPSM program will focus on testing these capabilities in realistic conditions. Lockheed Martin's tasks include delivering hardware for safety validation and mounting the missile system on infantry utility vehicles. The objective is to demonstrate safe and effective operation in varied environments, from desert heat to urban terrain. This marks a logical evolution from Phase 1, which showcased successful long-range engagements against obscured targets in August demonstrations. By proving that Spike NLOS can function reliably on multiple platforms under diverse conditions, the Army aims to ensure the weapon's adaptability across units and missions. The operational implications of this technology are profound. When mounted on an infantry vehicle, Spike NLOS becomes an organic asset capable of engaging enemy armor, fortifications, or hidden positions without direct exposure. When integrated on AH-64E Apache helicopters or potentially unmanned aerial platforms, it allows strikes from over the horizon, giving commanders a standoff advantage while minimizing risk to personnel. In modern warfare, survivability and situational awareness are just as critical as firepower. The Spike NLOS delivers all three in a single package. Its low smoke motor reduces visual and acoustic signatures at launch, making it difficult for adversaries to detect and counterattack. In a battlefield saturated with drones, sensors, and counter-battery systems, this stealth factor can make a decisive difference. Equally important is the missile's modular warhead design. By offering fragmentation, HET, and penetrating blast fragmentation options, Spike NLOS can be tailored to the target and mission profile, whether neutralizing a soft vehicle convoy, breaching a fortified bunker, or eliminating a concealed command post. Such modularity provides operational commanders with flexible tools in a world where battlefield conditions change rapidly. Combined with its ability to function independently of GPS, the missile becomes a resilient weapon against adversaries equipped with electronic jamming and spoofing technologies.
From a strategic perspective, the timing of this program's progress is no coincidence. The U.S. Army has identified long-range precision fires as one of its top modernization priorities, with potential conflicts in Europe and the Indo-Pacific theater requiring dispersed yet interconnected forces, weapons like Spike and LOS fill a critical capability gap. They allow units to project power across greater distances without relying on vulnerable logistics chains or exposed forward observers. In essence, this missile supports the concept of multi-domain operations, where land, air, sea, cyber, and space domains are integrated to achieve overwhelming effects. The cooperation between Lockheed Martin and Rafal also highlights a broader trend of transatlantic defense collaboration. American and Israeli defense industries have a long history of joint innovation, but the MLRPSM program elevates this relationship to new levels of interoperability and shared doctrine. The United States benefits from decades of Israeli operational experience with the Spike family, while Lockheed Martin contributes advanced integration, testing, and manufacturing expertise. This synergy not only accelerates technological readiness, but also strengthens the industrial ties between allied nations confronting similar security challenges. In the field, recent live-fire trials have validated the practical advantages of the system. The 101st Combat Aviation Brigade, the 12th Combat Aviation Brigade in Poland, and the 16th Combat Aviation Brigade at Yuma Proving Ground have all conducted tests involving Spike and LOS-equipped Apache helicopters. These exercises demonstrated the missile's ability to engage moving or obscured targets from concealed positions using terrain features to maintain tactical surprise. The results confirmed that the system can deliver precision strikes while reducing exposure to enemy countermeasures, a vital feature in the modern sensor-dense battle space. The Army's move to Phase 2 also reflects a growing realization that precision must be paired with persistence. A missile capable of striking at long range is valuable only if it can be deployed across multiple units and sustain operations in prolonged engagements. By focusing on integration with both aviation and ground assets, the Army ensures that Spike and LOS is not a niche weapon, but a scalable solution for future conflicts. Its deployment could reshape how brigades plan fire missions, enabling decentralized decision-making and empowering frontline commanders to act faster and more effectively. Looking at head, the Spike NLOS could influence the balance of capabilities not only within the U.S. Army, but across allied forces. If the program culminates in full adoption, partner nations in Europe and the Middle East might follow suit, adopting compatible systems that enhance coalition interoperability. In regions where adversaries rely on mobility, concealment, and layered defenses, the presence of a 32-kilometer precision strike weapon will significantly alter tactical calculus. It introduces a deterrent factor, forcing potential opponents to reconsider the safety of operating within what was once considered a secure distance. Ultimately, the transition to Phase 2 is a milestone in a larger journey toward redefining precision warfare. The Spike NLOS exemplifies a shift away from brute force firepower towards intelligent, data-driven engagement. It embodies the principle that modern battles will be won not by the quantity of munitions fired, but by the accuracy, adaptability, and integration of each shot. The U.S. Army's investment in such technology indicates a forward-looking doctrine that prioritizes survivability, responsiveness, and coordination across all domains of combat. As Lockheed Martin continues testing and integration, the coming months will reveal how well the Spike NLOS performs in increasingly complex operational scenarios. A final down-select decision will determine whether it becomes the Army's standard mobile wrong-range strike system. Should it succeed, the missile not only enhance the Army's lethality, but also symbolize a broader evolution in warfare, one where precision, connectivity, and control define the future battlefield. The Spike NLOS, in this sense, is more than a weapon. It is a strategic tool for shaping deterrence, dominance, and decision superiority in the decades to come.